I'm Chef Chong, it is Wednesday, and before we do get to all the latest in gaming news, let's get to the clip of the day. G'day guys, welcome to that show where I bring you all the latest in gaming news from around the world. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure to smack that like button real good as always. And now let's get to our first news report of the day and it comes to us from Take-Two Interactive. Now if you don't know, Take-Two owns Rockstar Games and Rockstar Games is behind the one and only Grand Theft Auto series. The interesting thing here is that earlier today, Take-Two announced that they will be at Gamescom in Germany later this year around August. And the only reason this is actually making some headlining news is that Take-Two went to E3, but they didn't show any GTA 5, now there is a possibility that something might be shown at Gamescom. And the reason that they might even show anything at Gamescom in Germany is because Take-Two and Rockstar said that E3 will not have anything to do with GTA. But for Gamescom, they haven't denied anything. And looking to the past, if the company doesn't say anything or they deny comment, it's usually because they do have something up their sleeve. So yeah, I'm really interested to see where this does go, because Gamescom is around the corner and E3 has just passed, so we might get some awesome GTA stuff very very soon but anyway I will keep you guys in the loop with everything that does happen with GTA 5 and Gamescom and everything like that but for now we move on to the sad news sad news <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> so a couple months back if you remember I reported that Darksiders 2 will be delayed till August of this year the thing is it was meant to come out around now like in June of this year but due to the team wanting more time to polish the game they pushed it back to August as I mentioned and that official release date for Darksiders 2 is the 17th of August sadly though this could be the final Darksiders game in the series because the new president of THQ doesn't seem to have any interest in the game now he he didn't say anything against the game, he didn't go, hey, this game sucks or anything like that, but he did say that the development team could be working on much better and larger projects. So basically what all this means is, if the game does poorly in sales, we probably won't see another Darksiders game, even though the series is meant to go to four games, but if it does really well in sales, we'll probably end up seeing a third and fourth game. But hopefully we don't say goodbye to the Darksiders series and we say goodbye to the sad news instead. Hmm, yeah, big news. Big news! So, first up on the big news today is this. Yep, Need for Speed has brought back Most Wanted and it looks pretty sick. And if you want to check out the full trailer, check it out down below or the annotation right here. Anyway though, if you haven't played the original Most Wanted, it came out like 7 years ago I believe and it was on the Xbox, Xbox 360 and even the PS2 so it was pretty fun back then and it looks even better right now. And if you don't know when the game is coming out, it will be out on the 30th of October. I've also included a link down below if you want to pre-order it if you want to do it that way. But next up on the big news is kind of sad news because The Expendables 2 is having a game made for it, but us Aussies won't get the game. And as I said, it is kind of sad news, but it's just too big for the sad news because you got Sly, you got Statham, you got Lee, you got all these people, even Chuck Norris and Arnie in it. So yeah, it's pretty big, but then again, it's kind of sad. But one thing we all have to remember is that it is a movie game and yeah, we don't even know how good or bad it could be. Though it still kind of upsets me that we do have this R18 BS still in place and it's just, yeah, it's just kind of really annoying. And one guy I know that really hates the R18 BS is a guy called Gorilla Man. Thanks, Gorilla Man. Okay, guys, Gorilla Man wants to know what movie do you think would make a really awesome video game and why? So put your answer down below in the comment section. It could end up on Friday's show, but if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to smack that like button as always because I'm Champ Chong, Max, this is Australian, and here are the answers to Gorilla Man's previous question.